we'll start by going to software current and we're going to download the ESS Mach 3 plugin right here if you're using the USS you'd go down to this one right here but we're using the ESS download the plugin now let's get Mach 3 there is a newer version of Mach 3 ending in version 0 .066 but the most stable one that works best with the smooth steppers is the one that ends in .062. You can select it from their FTP download site right here, or just click this one, which will download directly from that FTP site. Once they're both downloaded, go ahead and double click on Mach 3 and install it. read to the terms of the license agreement and agree to them. Leave it going to C colon Mach 3. We don't need the parallel port driver if you're using the ESS, so go ahead and uncheck that. Click Next. Those three will be just fine, just as is. And then click Finish. After that, go ahead and open this and drag the M3P file right here. Go ahead and double click on the M3P file. Plugin is installed and it disappears. Where did it go, you ask? Well, if we go into the C colon Mach 3 directory and we go to plugins, we can see that that m3p file extracted the DLL, put the DLL in here, and removed itself. So this is the actual plugin that we're using. In the Mach 3 folder, you'll see a file called Mach3.exe. It should be installed into your program files on your start button. We'll just go with this one because it's easy to find. We'll create a new profile. I'll call it hardware. And we'll use default profile values. Just go ahead and leave it as that. Click OK. Make sure you're still on hardware. Click OK. And it's telling you about the notice of liability. You have to agree to it if you agree to it. We want to use our ESS plugin, so click on that. And it doesn't respond. First of all, make sure you have your power on. But what we have to do is we need to config. So we'll click on no. And we have to enter in the value of our Smooth Steppers IP address. The default value is 10.9.9.9. .9 click OK. Basically, it's saying the XML file is a default one. We just have to say, yes, we know it's default one because we're getting started. Default values have been set. OK, we will configure everything the way we need to. He stops not assigned. That's OK. We'll take care of it in a minute. But right now, we have Mach 3 up and running. And next thing we need to do is tell if we're actually communicating with the ESS. The easiest way to do that is go back to our website, Documentation, ESS. And let's take a look at these LEDs. There's a little bit of an explanation down below them. If this top green one is on solid, and this lower one is blinking fast, about 10, 15 times a second, that means the ESS is communicating with Mach 3. If this red one's on, that means the e-stop is active. But what we really want to see is this one on solid, this one blinking about 10, 20 times a second. That means Mach 3 is talking with the ESS. Next up is to configure Mach 3 to work with the ESS, and that's in the next videos.